Now we're going to try to build a bridge between the abstract atomic and statistical concepts that we discussed earlier and the direct macroscopic measurements. Uh, first we will start with determination of the absolute temperature and this is something we talked about before how to measure temperature we need to use a thermometer a thermometer has a thermometric parameter that varies with temperature so uh, just to remind you uh, we need a thermometer and that has a property that varies with temperature in a well-defined manner uh, this is called the thermometric parameter and what could that uh, parameter be uh, we gave some examples earlier we could have a paramagnetic thermometer uh, we, as we found out explicitly the magnetic susceptibility of a paramagnetic thermometer uh, so let's say we that paramagnets paramagnets we have theta is equal to chi magnetic susceptibility which we have derived using canonical distribution uh, to be number of uh, atoms per volume magnetic moment per atom square divided by Boltzmann constant times temperature so chi varies as 1 over T which is uh, Curie's law and we could also use um, another uh, thermometer which is a constant volume uh, gas thermometer uh, where we have the pressure varies uh, with temperature in a well-defined manner and so theta is equal to P as a function of T and it is equal to uh, as we have derived the ideal gas law number of gas molecules Boltzmann constant times absolute temperature divided by V so P varies linearly with temperature this is for an ideal gas constant volume gas thermometer um, now how do we measure the absolute temperature if you pick a constant volume uh, gas thermometer um, and plot the mean pressure as a function of uh, temperature we see that this is going to be linear because P is uh, varying linearly with temperature so there's going to be a line here and if you extend this line to uh, the limit where you have zero pressure you, you always get a very well defined point uh, and this point corresponds to uh, minus 273.15 degrees Celsius uh, so if we plot pressure mean pressure as a function of temperature in degrees Celsius so uh, this is one uh, reference point for a new scale that we will talk about for the absolute temperature that is very reproducible it's the uh, Kelvin temperature scale uh, the other reference point we, we will have is the triple point of water so the international uh, standard uh, that we use for uh, the absolute temperature scale for absolute temperature is uh, the triple point of water and what does that mean uh, it has to be pure water at the triple point we have three phases coexisting solid liquid and gas so you have ice steam and uh, water at the same time uh, this was assigned in 1954 uh, to be Tri triple point temperature 273.16 Kelvin 
at one atmosphere. So this is our uh, next reference point for the Kelvin scale. So we have one reference point where the pressure is zero in a constant volume gas thermometer and that we call uh, zero Kelvin and then we have the triple point of water uh, which we assign the value 273.16 Kelvin or uh, this corresponds to 0 0.01 degrees Celsius. So this sets uh, the Kelvin temperature scale. So we have between uh, these two reference points 0 Kelvin and 273.16 Kelvin. Uh, this basically sets the uh, Kelvin uh, temperature scale. Um, so, if you want to measure uh, the temperature of absolute temperature of a system, uh, if you pick a system A for a system A, you have the mean pressure uh, giving you the absolute temperature Ta, and for a system uh, B, another system. The constant volume gas thermometer measures a different mean pressure corresponding to a different absolute temperature. So if you take the ratio of these two, Ta to Tb, you get Pa, the ratio of the mean pressures for the two systems. Now, if a system B is a water, at triple point then you know its temperature so that means the temperature of the system B is 273.16 Kelvin therefore uh, we will find that temperature of system A will be equal to temperature of system B 273.16 Kelvin multiplied by the ratio of the pressures Pa to Pb in Kelvin scale. Um, now if we have, uh, so that, that's basically how we can uh, determine the absolute temperature in comparison to our reference which is the water at its triple point. Uh, if you have an ideal gas for an ideal gas uh, if you remember, we can also write uh, the ideal gas law, PV is equal to nu RT, number of moles times universal gas constant uh, times absolute temperature, nu is number of moles, and for R, we have equal to Avogadro's number times Boltzmann constant. It is 8.3 joules per mole Kelvin. And basically you can find uh, um, the value of R. Uh, you can measure R for a known new number of moles of gas. Uh, determine average pressure and corresponding volume at the triple point. Where we have the temperature, so this is going to be in equilibrium with a pure water at its triple point, 273.16 Kelvin. So you can determine the value of R here and the value of R is 8.3 joules per mole Kelvin. Now, um, the corresponding value of the Boltzmann constant, K, um, is going to be 
universal gas constant divided by Avogadro's number, it is uh, 1.38 times 10 to minus 23 joules per Kelvin. So that's the uh, Boltzmann constant. And these numbers are not very easy to remember, so we usually have a shortcut to remember the uh, Boltzmann constant or universal gas constant. Well, that one is a little bit easier to remember. Uh, so one shortcut is that one electron volt of energy uh, corresponds to a thermal energy, Kt, where temperature is 11,600 Kelvin. This is one way to remember. The other way is room temperature. Room temperature roughly 295. So some people say 297, some people say 300. So somewhere in the range 295 to 300 Kelvin. Uh, corresponds to a KT value, thermal energy value, of roughly 1 over 40 electron volts, which is 25 milli electron volts. So you can use this shortcut to remember, for a quick calculation, uh, what the thermal energy uh, should be at the temperature of interest. And now, for determining the temperature, we have also more conventional uh, scales that we use in our everyday lives. Uh, one is the Celsius scale that is commonly used in Europe. Uh, and one is the Fahrenheit scale uh, that is commonly used in the United States. And it's good to know how to convert between these uh, and Kelvin scale. The temperature uh, reported in the Celsius scale is the temperature in Kelvin scale minus 273.15 degrees Celsius because remember minus 273.15 degrees Celsius is one of the calibration points of absolute temperature scale that corresponds to zero Kelvin. So this is easy to remember so that zero degrees Celsius corresponds to 273.15 Kelvin and uh, 100 degrees Celsius, the boiling point of water, corresponds to 373.15 Kelvin. There is a linear relationship. The Fahrenheit scale is 32 plus uh, 1.8 or 9 over 5. 1.8 temperature in Celsius scale uh, in Fahrenheit, degree Fahrenheit, and zero degrees Celsius, you can see here, corresponds to 32 degrees Fahrenheit, and 100 degrees Celsius boiling point of water corresponds to 212 degrees Fahrenheit. So these are good calibration points for these two scales. Um, this is uh, freezing and the other one is boiling point of water. So these are the calibration points for these two scales. Uh, basically, if you want, if you have a thermometer that's going to measure in Celsius scale, you put it in contact with boiling water and freezing water at atmospheric pressure in order to determine the temperature reading uh, at that point. So that's how we calibrate thermometers measuring in Celsius scale or Fahrenheit scale. So uh, basically we're trying to form a bridge between microscopic uh, theory and ma macroscopic measurements. Uh, we start with the absolute temperature that you need a thermometer which has a thermometric parameter that has a well-defined dependence on temperature. For example, in paramagnets, we have this mag magnetic susceptibility that varies as 1 over T. This we showed as Curie's law. 
Uh, for a constant volume gas thermometer using ideal gas law, it's, if it's an ideal gas, it is number of gas molecules Boltzmann constant absolute temperature divided by V. And so the pressure varies linearly with temperature. And as you can see, if you plot mean pressure as a function of temperature in the Celsius scale, you find that the curve extrapolates to a zero pressure point which is minus 273.15 degrees Celsius and this is true for all constant volume gas thermometers and we call this zero Kelvin. This is the first uh, reference point for our Kelvin scale. The second reference point which is very reproducible is the triple point of pure water solid liquid gas phases coexist this, that is at 273.16 Kelvin at one atmosphere and this Kelvin scale is between is defined uh, by these two calibration points 0 Kelvin and 273.16 Kelvin. Zero pressure point for ideal gas and a triple point of water. And if you have a system uh, whose absolute temperature you're trying to measure you put it in thermal contact with water at its triple point so that the the temperature absolute temperature reading will be 273.16 times the ratio of the pressures uh, that you will measure and for the ideal gas law uh, remember that we have for number of moles a universal gas constant r so a remedy for measuring r is if you have a known number of uh, moles if you measure the volume and measure the pressure, average pressure of a gas that is in thermal contact with pure water at its triple point where the temperature is well known, you can determine the universal gas constant to be 8.3 joules per mole Kelvin and corresponding value of Boltzmann constant, universal gas constant divided by Avogadro's number. And a quick way to remember these values is one electron volt corresponds to a thermal energy KT for temperature 11,600 Kelvin or room temperature corresponds to a thermal energy of 25 milli electron volts. And the more common uh, scales that we use in everyday life, Celsius scale is linked to Kelvin scale by T minus 273.15. Fahrenheit scale is 32 plus 1.8 in temperature in degrees Celsius and uh, the calibration points for these two scales are freezing point of water 0 degrees Celsius boiling point of water 100 degrees Celsius corresponds to 32 degrees Fahrenheit and 212 degrees